Mistral launched the latest small 3.1 model and the best part is that this model comes with Apache 2.0 license. That means you can commercially do anything with the model. It is so heartening to see Mistral coming back to the Apache 2.0 roots and I hope they keep on continuing this. This model builds on top of Mistral small 3. So this model has got improvement across the board and the best part here is that it supports 128,000 context window. This model is also comparable with the very recently released Gemma 3 and also if you were to compare proprietary model like GPT-40 mini in terms of benchmarks. And the good thing here is that because this is a smaller model, hence it has got the lowest latency per millisecond per token. So this was benchmarked on 4H100s which is obviously something that you and I will not have access to on an everyday basis. This model once it is available as a quantized model, it should ideally fit in even 32 GB machines. So if you have got Olama, if you have got LM Studio, if you have got a 32 GB RAM. Ideally, this model should should technically fit in that particular RAM that you have got. So this model also can be used for other capabilities like for example, one obviously you can use it to generate text and there are a couple of benchmarks that this model is really good at. You can see here it is compared with Gemma 3, uh, Coheres Aya Vision, GPT-40 Mini, Cloud 3.5 IQ and all these models in this particular case are multimodal model and you can see that this model is almost on par with the 27 billion and 32 billion parameter model. In fact, much better than the Cohere 32 billion parameter model. And if you happen to see the multimodal benchmarks also, this model is pretty good. So you can see across all the benchmarks, MathVista, MMMU Pro, MMMT, Multiturn Bench, and all these benchmarks, you can see this model is doing good. The most important thing, the practical use cases, a lot of people are using VLMs, vision language models, uh, to understand documents, to understand infographics. And this model has scored pretty good across those benchmarks like chart QA this model has scored 86% and doc VQA this model has scored 94% much higher than Cohere and much higher than Gemma 3 model and in terms of multilinguality once again this model has got a good flavor of European languages and good flavor of East Asian languages on par performance with respect to the Middle Eastern languages. The most important thing why you should ideally use this model is for a long context window if you have got enough uh, compute to run this model. So this model out of box supports 128,000. But again, if you happen to use it in Olama, if you happen to use an LM Studio, you need to enable this explicitly. Otherwise, generally, you will get this with 4,000 or 8,000 context window. But if you happen to enable it, then you can see that this model does a pretty good job. In fact, it is on par with respect to Claude 3.5 Haiku. And once you hit 128,000, the exact 128,000, one level below Claude 3.5 Haiku. One thing that I'm missing from benchmarks these days is why people are not doing needle in haystack experiment. This used to help us understand how the retrieval works with respect to long context. But somehow, unfortunately, I guess the benchmark itself is not like super solid, but people are not doing it. I think the best part of this entire release, if you are somebody who is a fan of fine tuning the model, this comes with a pre-trained model. So not only they're releasing the instruct model, which is something that you can chat with, but they're also releasing the base model, which you can now use to fine tune for different use cases. Why this is important? This is important because there are like companies like, for example, News Research, who would take this particular model and then fine tune it with their own data and own recipes, and they can get much better result. For example, if you see GPQA as a benchmark, Mark. The Deep Hermes 3 model that was released on top of Mistral 24 billion parameter model, which was the previous version of Mistral 24 billion parameter, you can see that this model has scored 56.57 uh, percentage with reasoning on, just with reasoning and has scored 56.5 percent and that because they could do fine tuning, it scores a lot. So now imagine what people can do with this new base model. So it opens up a lot of different opportunities uh, for whether you are an enterprise, whether you're a hobbyist, whether you just want to fine tune it for one specific use case, then you can use the base model and do a lot of things. And I can't wait to see what people are going to build on top of this existing model. Once this model is available as a quantized version, we'll definitely try out this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.